Welcome back to the show, to the Hero Whispers podcast. You have me, your host, and Chief Supergirl, Jeannie Marie. That's two L's, a second L for love. We are here today broadcasting live from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, with our guest, the Greek goddess of certifications, Theano Dimitrakis. And before I introduce her, because she is a Greek goddess, you will want to get on your knees, okay? I want to just kind of give you a 411, unless this is the first time you've been on our show listening to our podcast. We are the Hero Whispers podcast, and what we do is inspire and empower college women to launch in the best way possible so they can walk boldly in their own power, so they can have all the tools they need to kick ass in the real world. We curate content, we put together mentors, we help them with networking, their personal brand, whatever it takes to make them fierce females in the real world. That's our mission with supergirls.com. Again, that's two L's, second L for love, because we're all about love. And we do this podcast so we can talk to these women, the coolest women in the world, about how they are successful in their journey and how we can possibly help these women because you know what they're the future so we're here to pay it forward and help them so without further ado let me introduce this amazing creature on the phone she is the greek goddess of certifications she was a student of mine at nyu a fantastic five-star student i must add if there were more than five stars she would get one Today, we're going to talk about how to stand out with street cred on your profile to get noticed because she, Theano, has mastered this craft. And if you stay tuned to the end of the podcast, we're going to tell you how to get the free gift, which is five tips to get good on your profile with hardcore certifications. Stay tuned till the end and we'll let you know how to get it. Theano, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Professor Jeannie, for having me today. <laughs> I it's love been a she... pleasure being in your class. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to know you. And guess what? Theano had me on an NYU circuit, uh, How I Got Here series, and it was amazing. I got to speak to all these women, inspire all these college women. It was great. And they, like, reached out to me afterwards. It was amazing. And I'm so thankful and grateful to you for having me do that. Let me just read your quick bio because it's amazing. Theano is a growth marketing analyst with experience in digital marketing, marketing analytics, client management, and brand strategy for several startup companies. She is currently pursuing her MS in integrated marketing at NYU and has graduated from the New York Institute of Technology with a BSc in biology. Outside of work, she is constantly seeking new city experiences and preparing her next traveling adventure. I've seen you on Instagram at exotic places. <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you're here. So tell us, tell us, Greek goddess. I do call her the Greek goddess. How did you make the big, successful, epic jump that you made from biology to marketing? Well, um, so... Um... From when I was young, I was always interested in the science of life. So I decided to study biology in order to explore the structure, function, growth, origin, and evolution of living organisms. During my degree, I did three years of research where I was doing uh, heavy data analysis. After graduating, I realized that science was one of my passions, but it wasn't the only passion um, that I had. So after spending three years of being the marketing director at Healthcare Facility, handling uh, mainly the digital and content marketing, I decided to pursue my master's in integrated marketing with a concentration in marketing analytics, as you know. So starting marketing now, I have understood how naturally one leads to the other. Both professions are about understanding behavior. So in both biological systems and now in business, the ones willing to embrace the unexpected, adapt and change, are those who have a critical advantage. So, I mean, that's why it was a big change uh, going from biology to marketing. But again, I believe that both of these are connected greatly. I love how you put the science of life. 
how you called that for biology because it does sound like marketing too. I love how you put those two together. You're right. I mean, it is. It's about behavior. Both of them are. And That's I never, true. yeah, I never thought about it that way. That is because <laughs> you're so brilliant that you came up with that and that's how you thought about it. And I'm sure you sold it to the people at NYU and you applied and that's how you got accepted because it's such a great concept. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, both in, yeah, both in biology and marketing, you do a lot of um, data analytic research. <laughs> uh, and uh, actually it's both of understanding the behavior of the living organisms and now in humans, how they react to certain things. Now I want, I'm, researching how different people, different age groups, different genders, whatever it is, how they react to different things, different marketing strategies. Yeah, and so depending on where you're working, right, and who you're, because I know you're working for, uh, like you said, several startups, you're, you're a very busy girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> do, they, do they ask you to analyze it, to chop it up differently in terms of, like you said, like gender, age? Mm -hmm generation well, or is it kind of similar? Yes, actually, because we are a marketing agency. Mm. Uh, we get many uh, startups um, as well. Uh, so I had to actually analyze a lot of data <laughs> since the beginning of the internship. So Miss Greek Goddess, on this amazing transition that you've accomplished, what do you think your biggest hurdle was that you overcame and how did you overcome it? Well, I believe that um, public speaking was my biggest hurdle uh, since um, it has always made me very nervous, uh, though I realized that it's a very important skill to have uh, when I want to present a project, whatever it is. In the past, I did not have to present much due to biology, concentrating more on doing the research than on presenting. But after starting my master's at NYU, We've had to present an average of one to two times per week. So this <laughs> practice, especially in your class too, right? <laughs> so, totally. <laughs> this practice has um, really enabled me to relax and see public speaking as an opportunity to express more and work on that skill. Yeah, well, talk about friending. We had a, recently had a guest on the show talking about befriending your dragons, meaning your biggest challenges are your gifts. So talk about that for you. I mean, all of a sudden, bang, you had no choice. You had to figure it out. That's fantastic. Definitely. That's, <laughs> That's true. It was very hard in the beginning, and I was feeling very uncomfortable when I was standing up and speaking to the whole class. But I think that everything comes with some... Um, repetition and as you practice you get better and better and hopefully I will become better <laughs> but certainly I'm uh, so much better than I was in the beginning well you certainly have a lot of hardcore um, gray matter to make up for whatever deficits you have in that however I thought that you did a great job of you were always in my class anyway you were always uh, raising your hand to participate. So it didn't seem to hold you back. So that's a beautiful thing. And, you know, it keeps propelling you forward. Um, because once you make an, a decision to do something, you're, it's like you're on a mission and nothing stands in your way. And so that's why I called you the Greek goddess. Where, where does that power come from? <laughs> what inspires you? Uh, what inspires me? Uh, well... Actually, um, in any and all circumstances, um, love is a wonderful thing. The constant support, uh, respect, and magic that uh, love provides never fails. And my family, friends, and my partner have always been the true inspirations in my life. Uh, more specifically, my inspiration comes from my grandfather, who he and his family emigrated from minor Asia to Greece without any of their possessions and started a brand new life and were able to survive starting from zero. Also, my father is a big inspiration of mine who immigrated from Greece to the U U.S. when he was uh, very young, 
all by himself to also start a new life. And now he has become very successful in his career. Um, I get inspiration from the Greek history and culture uh, where we have faced many struggles and we have always uh, come back stronger. I get inspiration from the books that I read, such as Brain Silence by Roger Dewey, which is one of the books that inspired me to also study marketing, or The Art of War by Sun Zhu. Uh, maybe another in main inspiration that I get is from my professors and my colleagues, such as you. Oh. I admire everyone <laughs> that I work with, and I always try to copy the best parts that I see from everybody. Also, I think it's uh, dreams, having dreams and having faith. Um, maybe it's um, the dreams that I have and continue to work towards in my life. I have achieved, I have achieved some and some others. I still have a way to go. Uh, these dreams include a career, but also a lot of traveling. And with faith, I do not necessarily mean religion, while religion is a great part of it. I mean the ability to have faith when times are hard and knowing that the sun will rise tomorrow and life will move on. That is beautiful. I mean, yeah. epic. I mean, that's a book right there in itself. That is so amazing. I love that. I love that it's so powerful that you, the connection with your family and your loved ones, because at the end of the day, right? I mean, really, what else? That's what really matters. So I love that that inspires you because so many people don't do not get inspired by their family. <laughs> so that's really great, you know, um, because all of this inspiration is what we talked about earlier in the podcast, which is all these certifications that you have. I mean, I was completely blown away when you started talking about. So here she does, just listen, this is what she did. So she comes and asks me for extra help um, on a project and also with um, an internship she was applying for. Meanwhile, she had all of these tools in her toolbox. The last thing she needed was help from me. I mean, I was so honored and flattered that she asked. However, she had all of these <laughs> certifications already that, like, she can get hired from anyone. So talk about that. How did you start to accumulate and nail all of these, you know, special certifications that you got? Um, actually, that started when I was applying to math, to um, master's. I, in the beginning, I was going for biomedical engineering, which I also got accepted, but at the end, I did not um, go to that program. Uh, I needed to learn programming after biology. So I started, I started taking uh, programming classes and I got the programming certifications through this way. Later, after entering marketing, uh, it was a brand new field for me. And of course, I had to go beyond the standard curriculum. I decided to take full advantage of the online opportunity. And I actually started be, being more interested in the certifications when you invited Professor O'Malley to speak in your class. And he spoke about the importance of having certifications if you do not have much experience. And I didn't have much experience in marketing. So I wanted to boost my resume with any additional knowledge that I could acquire. So in the beginning, I started with all the basic Google certifications. Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Data Studio. And later, I want to get more experience in programming since I understand how important that is in marketing and at the moment. And that's why I started with uh, our programming workshop uh, at NYU. After attending this, actually, everything is really connected. After attending this, I was more interested in programming. That's why I started the Python Data Structures course from Coursera. Later, I, went, I wanted to expand my skills further, and I enrolled in the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, where I developed and honed hands-on skills in data science and machine learning. Um, 